The scooter store is being investigated by the FBI because of the fact that they were uh, convincing individuals that didn't necessarily need the scooter to get one and basically bill either Medicare or Medicaid so the government pays for it. Um, now we have a quick video uh, basically showing you what the scooter store is mm -hmm. and then I'll discuss this uh, investigation in more detail. Let's take a look. If you live in a multi-story home and need assistance getting up and down the stairs, a stairlift may be just what you need to help you remain independent in your home. Stairlifts allow you to glide effortlessly up and down the stairs in your home. <laughs> oh, sir, smile. We Keep recommend going. the SL600 Pinnacle Stairlift, which is the narrowest stairlift in the industry. At only 11 inches wide with the footrest and seat folded, the SL600 ensures that your stairs can remain regular stairs even when the stairlift installed. All right, so every time I watch cable news, they, they show that commercial and, and similar commercials over and over again. And one thing that they emphasize is that you will get this scooter for free. They will bill either Medicare, Medicaid, or if they can't, if they can't get the government to pay for it, they'll give you the scooter for free, right? right? Which is really interesting. So of course, <laughs> uh, that gives them a tremendous uh, incentive to bilk the system, to get uh, somehow to get Medicaid and Medicare to pay for it and uh, and what they do is they wind up harassing people until they get so not the people who are getting it but the people who are approving them for getting Medicaid yes. or Medicare they harass them until they approve it so step number one is to convince physicians to uh, prescribe this uh, you know scooter to the patients so uh, according to the report they harass doctors okay so um, doctors and former employees told CBS that the company would harass physicians with non-stop phone calls and offices office drop-ins in order to wear them down the company even has a special department devoted to getting chairs for patients who have already been ruled ineligible by Medicare okay so a lot of times, people don't necessarily need these uh, scooters. Of so course. Look, whenever you set up this kind of program, it, the scam artists come in ready to bilk the government. It, this is very similar to the nonprofit school system, right? So the government provides the loan, so they get the loan, get the loan, get the loan. Who we, what we do with the students afterwards, eh, whatever, right? Uh, but. In this case, get the chair, get the chair, get the chair. Yeah. The government's paying for it. Who cares? Right. And also keep in mind that uh, between 2009 and 2012, they overbilled Medicare by over $100 million. So the Obama administration caught on to this, and they put regulations in place as part of the Affordable Care Act. So of course now we're starting to notice that the Affordable Care Act does have a lot of good little elements that no one knew about. Um, and these regulations would prevent uh, companies like the Scooter Store from taking advantage of Medicare or Medicaid. Um, but here's another really interesting thing. There was a ma major donor to the Romney campaign, Mark Leader, who actually put together uh, that now notorious uh, fundraiser where uh, Romney made that 47% comment. And he actually owns uh, part of the scooter store, okay? He is invested in it. So uh, what he wanted to make sure Romney did was, you know, get rid of the Affordable Care Act in general and make sure to deregulate the industry enough to make sure that they can continue to do what they're doing by robbing our Medicare system. Okay, so understand the tremendous ironies here. So first of all, conservatives are like, oh my goddamn government, you know, and the subsidies instead of perverting the market. Are you kidding me? They love it. That's what the guy's making money off of. And he overbilling the government by a hundred million dollars. Let alone the, the, the fact that the whole business is set up on bilking the government and forcing people to get these chairs and some need it, of course, right? And a lot of people who don't need it, so they can get paid, right? And then, uh, you know, he goes and gets Romney to talk about, oh, we got to do deregulation. Yep. Now, why, why does he want deregulation? Because he wants to keep robbing the government, right? Meanwhile, but he's blaming the government for overregulating. I know. Because the reality is the government's trying to protect you from him, okay? That's why I, I always say, look, the people who don't want cops on the street are the robbers. So in the financial world, the regulators are the cops on the street. And the people who argue against the regulators are the robbers, okay? And so the third irony is these guys are talking about, and that 47% talk was about the makers versus the takers. 
Oh, these takers who just take, take, take from the government, from the people who make. Meanwhile, the guy throwing the party is a taker from the government on a mass scale. On a mass scale. Uh, just more numbers for you guys that are just so interesting. 80% of the claims for scooters and power wheelchairs did not meet the Medicare requirements, and that's according to the nation. <laughs> they, but who cares? Government's paying. Go milk it, right? And then, uh, of course, Romney uh, ran on the campaign of... Uh, we're going to get rid of Obamacare. Why? Oh, Obamacare, that hurts the average guy. No, it hurts one of his top donors like Mark Leader. And by the way, it hurts other donors as well uh, because they're insurance companies, etc. Their problem with Obamacare doesn't have anything to do with you or anything that it, in any way that it might hurt you. Their problem is that it might help you and that it might, it might actually save the government some money. Their whole campaign is funded by the guys who don't want to save the government money, who want the government to spend more mm -hmm. so that they could take it from the government. And that's and then they back the guy who would be running the government, Mitt Romney, who would become the president, so they can keep getting those goodies. If you're a conservative, man, they have played you for a sucker. They don't have your best interests at all. They believe the exact opposite of what they say in public. Mm -hmm. So all that talk about, oh, the government's too big, et cetera, it's just a trick to get you to spend more money that goes to their friends like Mark Lee.